Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Spicy Girls. If you aren't all caught up with what happened in the last episode, I'll play a few clips here. (gasps) 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 Yo! Dang! She beat her- And we went back to reading the- Bro, this- Yo, she gots to be stopped. (laughs) Oh, oh my goodness, Corinne. Oh Not Bob Pancakes texting her. Like, he the reason for all of this. Cool, Ben. She fell out. Oh my god, he shot. So as you guys seen, Eliza Pancakes was shot. She did freak out and confronted Corinne. After all that happened with Lily Fang, she came over to Corinne's house and freaked out she brought a gun and held Corinne at gunpoint y'all last episode was chaotic um anyways anyways right now we are here with Corinne she is still all battered and beaten and bruised up from her fight well not even fight she got beat up from getting beat up by apparently drug lord lily fang anyways y'all destin is on her way home from work corinne called her right before she laid down she just was so tired she's like i just can't so she's asleep right now she hasn't eaten anything corinne just or destin just got home And I'm going to have Zestin go upstairs and look for a place for them to stay. Because they really know that they can't, they just can't stay here anymore. Like, they really cannot stay here. I mean, living right next door, anything can happen. And they both just feel really unsafe. Um, Especially after everything that happened. So with that being said, Zestin is currently looking for a place for them to stay. For now, they know that they really can't stay here overnight, so they're pretty much going to go spend the night over Destin's parents' house. Um, She just has to wake up Corinne so that they can go. Oh, still no way. <laughs> For real? Huh. So Corinne is very tense at the moment um, because she doesn't know really what's going on with Eliza. All she knows is Nathan shot her technically in self-defense because she had a gun point she had corinne at gunpoint literally Eliza's blood is still on the floor y'all <sighs> corinne should mop it up she knows she has to because who else is going to Destin not gonna mop that shit up that's in my girl this is your problem you need to clean it up you created this mess Dustin love her friend. She love her friend, but her friend has never been in trouble like this. So I'm gonna have Corinne. Oh, she she mopped it up. She's like, girl, this is too much. All right, I'm gonna have them go ahead and travel to Corinne's family's house, and I'll see y'all when we get there. All right, y'all. So we are here at. Destins. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the house. I put entirely way too much effort into this house, more effort than I wanted to. I basically downloaded this house off the gallery and then I kind of it's like mm, it don't really feel homey and it's not really telling the story I wanted to tell. So I went ahead and just added some CC um, here and there. So this is a living room. And then they have like a little bar area here. And then we have, um, you know, their laundry room here. And then they have their dining room. It's really just them two um, because they don't have any other kids outside of Dustin. So then this is their kitchen. You can do it. Coffee. And then this is their bedroom, their master bedroom. 
and their bathroom is this one over here and then this is their guest bathroom then they have two bedrooms so it's a three bedroom house three bedroom two bath and this is Dustin's room um yeah they pretty much kind of just left her room almost the same as how she left it before she moved out um and then we have their guest room that they have and this is pretty much where Corinne is gonna be sleeping so but anyways so they have already started bringing their stuff in the house as you can see they got their bags here Corinne's got her bags here all her little stuff that she brought you know she had to bring that so i'm gonna have dustin come steady sit here with her parents all right y'all and please just ignore um dustin's aunt and uncle <laughs> we had to go ahead and remove them from the household so this is dustin's dad um his name is frank what's his name oh franklin kirk oh shoot <laughs> i never realized that anyways i did it on purpose um oh her auntie and uncle rolled up oh i ain't got no clothes on um her auntie mika do not play about her so they was like uh, -uh what the heck is going on um anyways her mama is really worried she's also about to be on her period um but she's worried because she's like what's going on with my baby and she really don't have a really good relationship with corinne she just she feels like corinne is a bad influence on destin just because destin you know she really trying to get her life together she's really trying to pursue rap Here she go, coming in here, slamming doors. Instead of eating that in here, I'm gonna have her eat it in the room. She knows that she's really like, she just needs to go in the room and just be really by herself for a little bit. Um, and kind of not necessarily think about what she's done, but just think about all the stuff that's happened. Like that woman is literally in the hospital clinging to her life. Eliza Pancakes is not dead, y'all. She's not dead, she's just, she fighting for her life right now and that's just that on that destin and her father really need to have a conversation y'all destin's father is very strict Snap's woony, eh? and i'm gonna have her mama you. come in here and sit down oh, and they all need to have a conversation she's very <laughs> tense Vum. she's anxious uh, she Fina. never thought she <laughs> would be <laughs> in this position uh, karen Corinne, Corinne is just a menace. Like, why are you even out here? Girl, just finish eating your fruit snacks. Absolutely. Corinne's like, no, I want to be in a conversation. Blood it involves problem. me. She's Russia. like, Ben Fahab, Bula Shaka, Abina Flim. I'm gonna have her. Oh. Bank of Flish. Oh. Uh, kudos. She's like, what is oh. what? It, I'm gonna have her ask yes. about that. She's gonna be like, so what happened? Oh, Miss yes. Deidre. She's just like, so what happened? Oh, frankly, it is not the time to be trying to sing. <laughs> Bye. She's gonna be like, look, it's okay to ask for help, but I appreciate you taking the initiative and coming home. I love being able to just get to spend time with you. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, wow. Karina. All right, she's, she's done. I'm gonna have her come in here and take a... She can't take a bath. Take a thoughtful shower. She's running, she's really nervous. So her mom's in there getting the bed ready for Destin. Um, I'm gonna have her go ahead and go to sleep as well in here. What is this? Girl, now she wanna watch Love and Hip Hop. Isn't it, hasn't it been enough drama for the day? Jesus. Y'all, clearly it has not. All right. 
All right, y'all. So Corinne is out the shower. She was able to get majority of the bruising off of her body after she wiped away all the blood. But she is very much so bruised on the face because y'all gotta be mindful. That lady was kicking her in her face, okay, in her face. So that's where majority of her bruising is. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and go to sleep. She's exhausted. Hey. And then have him come go to sleep too as well. They literally just arguing at the door. Go home. Alright, I'm gonna send them home. Cause they ain't even come in, so look like they was just trying to be nosy if we be honest have them go home Justin is kind of just I think Justin just feels like dang like what do I do but overall I feel like she fine she really just like she just gotta deal with it you know some of her come use the bathroom she just happy that that part of it didn't happen while she was there because she probably wouldn't have wanted to witness her friend being held at gunpoint like oh i'm all holly okay. and she's on her cycle she's just going through it so i'm gonna have her wear a tampon and use it Too busy drinking. She too busy drinking orange Fanta. I don't think she used it. So now I'm gonna just have her go ahead and go to bed, and I will see y'all in the morning, y'all. So Corinne woke up in the middle of the night. She, she's crying. She just over it. She just, she don't feel well. Her body is aching, and she's hungry. And girl, and she thinks she woke up inspired. Like, how do you wake up inspired because you had a wet dream? Like, girl, go back to sleep. All right, so I went ahead and sent Corinne back to bed. But Miss Deidre has woken up. Oh, my Lord. So I'm going to have her go ahead and start making breakfast for the family. So she's up right now. She about to just make some breakfast. She's cooking. I'm gonna have him come clean out this coffee and make some more. Oh, Dizzy. <laughs> Y'all, clearly Miss Deidre is not the best cook now, but she can make a little something something. So I'm gonna have him. Why is he? Okay, they keep going to get them dang Welch snacks and it's making me upset. All right, I'm gonna have him brew some coffee. And while that's brewing, I'm gonna have him put this away. Or actually, I'll put it away. I have him grab a drink. Oh my gosh. Now, before he drinks it, I'm just going to have him grab it and sit it down. And then grab a serving of food. So he's gonna have this little morning coffee. She's like, honey, don't you think you should put a shirt on before the girls wake up? I know you're used to it just being us now, babe, but come on. All right, so she finished eating. I'm gonna have her come use this restroom and then take a shower. And then I'm gonna have Dustin go ahead and get up. 
so she can eat. She got on, girl. All right, so Dustin just woke up. She... Oh my gosh, y'all, if I try like, another freaking thing, I'm gonna have, oh my, and I did it, and I did, and I did. Anyways, I'm going to have her come grab a drink of coffee too as well. She's not a coffee drinker, but baby, after the night she's had, I don't even know how she's happy. Well, partially because she wasn't there. So, all right, I'm going to have her go get some breakfast and drink her coffee. Her dad went to his bathroom, but I'm gonna have him drink his coffee too. Whoops, <laughs> Be sick. Girl, why you can't drink it? Y'all, I swear. I wonder if it's because I have BB. Okay. So they finna finish having the conversation that they need to have. Frodo Ma Rothese, Mubu's Kenda, uh -huh. Belindy, Oh, George. Uh -huh. Perry. Uh -huh. That's a new! It's about! Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, and Dustin are actually going to go tour uh, an apartment. I'm gonna have Corinne go ahead and grab something to eat for breakfast. And then um, Dustin is gonna come clean up this mess because her family did not clean about the day so. So I'm gonna have her come clean this up for them. You know, she's just trying to help out around the house because she's thankful that her parents is sad. Um, because <laughs> Dustin told her mama that she wants to move out. She doesn't want to stay here. She already know her dad is living where her dad is not gonna be. It's not gonna be easy. So she's trying to move out as soon as possible. And oh. she bit the bullet and asked her dad to help all. her lend them some money so they can pretty much ooh, what the heck? <laughs> um, pretty much afford to get an another apartment on their own. Um, Corinne. She has some money saved, and Dustin both have some money saved. But I mean, getting them getting a whole new apartment, like especially because they want to live in a nice place. It's just they they definitely need to. Mm. She has to. Ask. But they can definitely afford to get an apartment on their own right now. They just she just feels like she needs assistance. Is she crying? So, uh, uh, <laughs> Corinne was thinking about just not going and allowing Dustin to go view the apartment herself. But I'm going to just actually have Corinne just put some makeup on over her bruises. And what I'm going to have her do is <laughs> put some makeup on. I'm going to have her apply some makeup and then we'll go into create a sim and cover up all her bruises Ben's just talking no she's not neat she's just cleaning up because she feels like she has to she put on makeup did it cover anything i mean it did do a little some some but it ain't covering much of nothing so we're gonna go into create a sim come back girl not you trying to get a drink already all right guys so this is what corinne is going to be wearing she has on just some boots and a little sweater dress because it is cold right now and a hat. She's trying to cover up her bruises as much as possible, y'all. Let me show y'all. <laughs> this girl. So she did put on a little bit of makeup um, and some concealer, but y'all can still really see her bruises on her face. Um, 
<laughs> she put on the glasses because she's like, I don't want nobody to be asking me no questions. And she really don't want the, the realtor or the tenant to think anything. And then Dustin is going to just wear this. I'm going to turn this off. Because it's just giving too loud. Oh, right the oh. Ha. Ha. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and have them go and head to their apartment. Well, let me just have her. She wants some mimosa. So, girl, just make a dang mimosa. You just got to drink. So, I'm going to have her make right. a mimosa. That's Doing part it. of her problem. Free, this bro. one is just talking Wrong. to her parents. Uh, almost. Nathan would like hey, to come over you. and hang out. Uh -huh. Hell no. He like, yeah. hey, you going to snitch on me? Who is that? Why is she coming oh. over? Oh. I'm like, why is she? Uh -huh. Delso? Trips? Not Nathan calling Eva. to see if they go Call snitch. Me the Nathan, nudge. they don't want nothing to do with you. Uh, go ahead, drink your mimosa, Chris. You want it that bad. Uh -huh. She said she Ufa. need a drink for she had to go deal with these people. Dag. <laughs> She's still sad. Oh, poor thing. Drink your mimosa. Hambleblee? Huh? Oh, Pana Diola. Sibibum Florib. She's like, yeah, we're about to tour an apartment. We. Snaby Gobi. Zerf. Yano Zorpel. Blaho Quarb. Snoof. Girl, you already got a pee. I'm gonna have Dustin call a Uber so that they can go. Alright, y'all. So we are here at the Modern View Apartments. I think this is what they're called. Um, this is the apartment building that they are looking to rent. Um, so I am going to be giving you guys a tour basically while I give them a door of this apartment so we're gonna go ahead and go in to the apartment um oh this is zuri guys this is their what is it called um what are the people called not necessarily i guess tenant um or tenant the person basically girl I, I don't know why i can't think of it but it's basically the person who you you basically do the apartment with you do all the paperwork whatever whatever so that's her um this is the entryway when you first come in here i go dragging stuff like always um but this is what you see when you first come in so i'm gonna have them pretty much actually i'm gonna add them all to a group really quickly and we're gonna see if they like it um Dang, Justin and Karen's friendship meter is really low right now. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have them all come in here and view. This is where they'll sign the paperwork. Um, it's where they get packages. This is pretty much like the front desk office of the apartment building. And then we have... Um, I'll actually probably, okay, so let me, let me just, let me just say this. This is definitely the apartment that I'm going to have them get. Um, so I'll give y'all like a better, more detailed tour and y'all will see, um, y'all will see, y'all will see all of the details of the apartment as we get further into the let's play. So I'm not going to give you guys a super, super detailed, um, tour. I'm just going to show you guys basically majority of the stuff as I do the gameplay. So just FYI so they're in here they're pretty much like looking around um they have a nice little a nice little fireplace in here so when you go here this you have to have a key code to get into you can't just come in this is where you'll pretty much scan your key and you'll go into this area and oh why is it not okay mm. And you'll go into this area and then you'll have access to the stairway and the elevator. Um, but again, you can't access this unless you have a key. So it's very secure. Then we have, why is this mailbox in the middle? Girl, let me just destroy. 
then we have this seating area this is pretty much like a shared space um where people can come and watch tv eat because right over here is their cafe so this is the share space cafe um i'm not <laughs> i always say this but i'm not finished with it i have so much stuff that i really want to add to it but they can come over here grab coffee drinks and then there's a kitchen in here where people will come and work and pretty much like service the the guests or the not the guests the tenants or the people who live there um the owners of that but they're renters the renters we'll call them the renters so yeah so then you come out here you have access to their pool which i want to put like a little waterfall right here so i'm not done doing that but i just want to give you guys a tour really quickly um so you guys can see where they'll pretty much be staying and then coming over here uh, you have access to outside from the um, from the um, realtors. I'm just going to call them realtors. I know they're not realtors, but just so I can have something to say because I, I can't right now. Um, but from the realtors office and then they have like these little cute waterfalls. I love that. Then over here is their garage. This is where pretty much they'll park their cars. Um, mm, I don't know why that's there. <laughs> girl i did not look through this bill before <laughs> my bad y'all anyways but then from the pool you also have access to outside um so you can pretty much tour or go out to the city basically because they live downtown or they'll live downtown so what they wanted they definitely wanted to stay downtown because if y'all remember corinne lived kind of like in a they corinne and destin lives in like a upstairs or a town what is it um high-rise apartment um so this one is a little bit different it's not necessarily a high-rise apartment but it is downtown so this is the unit that they will be touring today i don't know why y'all are able to see this unit it's supposed to be closed y'all can only see so much of it though because it's not these colors i could tell y'all that so apparently with apartment living you can still kind of see into the unit this is my first time playing with apartment apartment what is it is it apartment living what's the game pet i think it's apartment living so anyways this is the unit that they'll be touring today um so y'all this is where the apartment will be um and then right next door it will be their next door neighbor <laughs> you guys will start to see the neighbors once they move in have a whole nother lp that will be coming out because of their neighbors um instead of going to see the apartment first i'm gonna have them come up here to the third floor okay so they are upstairs on the third floor um there is another person who lives here and then there is also the gym on this floor this is going to be their gym guys so i'm gonna have them go ahead and tour the gym have them all go here together they're like mm hmm Corinne just looking oh. around. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the gym, guys. And then inside the gym, they have the lockers where they can come put their stuff. And then on the opposite side, they have showers if they want to shower. Um, this part of the gym is very small because, like I said, this is an apartment building. So they live here. If they need to take a shower, they can also go upstairs and take a shower. So with that being said, it's just the showers up here. Um, we also have outside there is like yoga um yoga days where they'll come like and have yoga um and then they are still working on renovating this area here but just so that they have an idea i'm gonna have them come over here and get to see this area so this is pretty much gonna be like karaoke like a little hangout spot for the tenants all right, so now that they have finished looking at the outside of the gym area, they have gone to the apartment cafe. Once you walk into this cafe using the elevator, um, this is what you see. It's pretty. 
decent sized cafe they have cheers where you can come grab a book read get some coffee um sit do some work and then over here you can come it's kind of like a cafe slash i don't know why my thing is not letting me drag it's like my mouse it's not be it's not letting me drag nothing okay there we go i don't know what was going on anyways but you can come and buy snacks over here you can buy uh <laughs> um what is it bagels and cinnamon rolls donuts coffee this is pretty much just like their cafe and then over here there's drinks and then more um snacks and stuff that they can get more drinks over here in the cooler um if you need condiments for your house you don't feel like stopping at the store they have like quick stuff that they can buy then they also have a dunkin donuts area if you don't want any of the coffee that's here we also have a place where they can get boba if they want boba if that's the type of drink that they want so yeah then over here we have a place where they can just sit chill out look out the window and then um drink and get some coffee and work on the computer over there too as well so then they'll take the elevator upstairs to tour the next part of the apartment all right guys so we are up one more floor and this is the other half of the apartment um and when i say apartment i mean shared spaces of the apartment let me go ahead and close um or put down my walls so over here is the spa where residents can come and book a massage or book you know a foot soak or whatever they want they offer a lot of amenities here they have um masseuses massage tables and then we also have a sauna era era area we also have a they also offer a sauna area where they can come in and just enjoy the sauna if they like as well so this is something that is um pretty much free to the residents they just have to book it <laughs> you know we gotta add some realism to my game y'all i'm all about realism then over here is gonna be kind of like their um game room area for the residents where they can come and pop popcorn play some games shoot some pool shoot some hoops or play some darts it's pretty much gonna be where they can come and hang out um and invite other people if they like and then in here we typically will have a showing of whatever movie is playing right here and then it's going to be a little theater room where they can come and watch movies chill out and eat some popcorn eat some snacks and watch a movie so then whenever they need to for tenants who do not have a washer and dryer because i believe only the penthouse and then the apartments that cost more guys will have the amenities of having a washer or dryer in their apartment um and the apartments that cost less will unfortunately have to come and use the shared washer and dryer um space so the shared laundry room unfortunately so we do they do offer all of the little necessities that you may need to do your laundry you can also bring your own and then there is also a bathroom here too as well if you need to use the bathroom while you're enjoying any space up over in this area of the apartment so there is like i said on this floor or in this side of the apartment building these are the shared spaces so we have the garage we have the cafe and we have the sauna or spa room, game room, and laundry room, and then a bathroom and a movie room. Now, <laughs> for the last shared space, um, we are. I'm gonna have them go ahead and go up one more floor to the very last shared space. All right, y'all. So they are up one more floor. This is the balcony. Um, so as you guys can see, it kind of overlooks the apartment building. You can see the yoga spot from here. And if you look down, you can definitely see the pool. 
from over there and then we just have like a little grill a grill section where you can come residents can come cook they can drink they do offer bartending services here so there will be a bartender on site not every night um just because the sims y'all unfortunately but um yeah so anyways then over here you can come you know and sit by the fire you can come up here and eat you can drink up here you can relax enjoy the hot tub and so forth so that is the very last shared space next i'm gonna go ahead and just have them kind of just look around i'm gonna have them talk a little bit and then i'll have them go ahead and view the apartment and what is she coming over here to do she wants to come view this so she's like y'all this is uh -huh. granite it's a nice counter <laughs> not Justin coming over here and viewing it too she's like wow this is nice oh poor Corinne she over here crying in the corner Ciao. okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and let them tour the apartment all right y'all so they are officially ready to come so they are gonna go ahead and come into this apartment and tour it what's wrong with Destin she's uncomfortable she's embarrassed she she's like uh I think she what happened where are they all going I guess she was like I'll let you guys go ahead into the apartment on your own let me know if you guys have any questions I'll be downstairs <laughs> I guess that's what she said because I guess she says that Destin was embarrassed. So she was like, I'm going to just let them do this on their own. All right, guys. So this is what you see when you first walk into the apartment. They have let Destin and Corinne know that they are an apartment that does not um, paint or um, that pretty much kind of allows the tenants to or the renters to paint themselves if they wish to but the units do come furnished with the appliances and the cabinets and stuff um for unfortunately Destin and Corinne they they are in a bit of a price crunch because not only do they have to pay for the remaining of their lease at the other apartment but they also have to pay the down payment for this apartment as well so unfortunately Destin and Corinne will have to downgrade which is why my girl is looking so sad right now poor thing um she's she's just not happy she really probably would much rather get an apartment by herself but <laughs> She can't leave Corinne like that. She just cannot leave her high and dry. So this is um, one room, one bedroom over here, and then the bathroom over here. And then there is a closet space here. And then we also have a second bedroom, a closet space here. You guys can't see the archway. Let me show you. Um, ooh, that is an archway. And then we also have a bathroom there so yeah y'all Destin and Corinne have come to terms that they unfortunately will have to move I'm gonna have them go ahead and go downstairs and sign the lease and then that'll be the end of this episode